Oh yeah, 213 Rock, Vinyl Times, The Classic Rock Radio, Ratchet Dolls, à l'instant le single, Loud, 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 en direct tonight, hein, on a Kevin et Sophie, donc du groupe Ratchet Dolls, en direct ce soir depuis le Texas, je crois, des états unis et ils viennent donc présenter effectivement ces deux singles, ils viennent présenter le groupe tonight, en direct dans 213 Rock, Vinyl Times, The Classic Rock Radio, c'est la première interview française de ce groupe, incroyable, hein, les deux titres sont vraiment très très surprenants, et ce soir avec le doc Olivier Vini Times, hein, nous étions totalement impatients de les avoir en direct, parce que là, il y a du level, il y a du niveau. So, hi Sophie, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Yes, how are you Sophie? I'm good, how are you? We yeah. just got back from a, a camping trip, we're over in Idaho actually, so. Ah, okay. We're out here in the... Okay, yeah. So, Kevin, hi, nice to meet you. Likewise, thank you for having us on 213 Rock. Yes, my pleasure too. Uh, Ratchet Dolls. Donc en direct ce soir, Kevin et Sophie, effectivement, ils étaient, uh, ils passaient du bon temps, ils étaient en camping. Hein. J'ai essayé de les avoir durant toute la journée pour avoir la confirmation. Je l'ai eu il y a quoi Il y a à peu près uh, une dizaine de minutes. Donc ils ont réussi à trouver un service système donc pour être connectés tonight et puis pour pouvoir préparer l'interview de ce soir en direct dans 213 Rock Vinyl Times Classic Rock Radio. So, Kevin, my first question is for you, Kevin. Okay? Sounds good for you? And Absolutely. Yeah, I think it was following a recommendation uh, on the YouTube of your single Loud 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 arrived before my eyes and being I had a flash wow it was for Loud 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 I was totally surprised I love the music the power the track wow it's very dynamic thank you very much yeah we worked very hard on that it's the song and the entire album is self-produced but that video we recorded um, here in Austin Texas And man, I gotta tell you, it was the most fun video to shoot, especially because we got to act for, like in the hospital scene with Sophie on the bed and us trying to revive her. And it was just a blast. It, we recorded it in about five hours, and then I did all the editing at home with Sophie. And man, we're just so happy that the response has been incredible. 70,000 views already. It's, it's just mind blowing to us. Effectivement, hein, donc ce premier titre il est juste incroyable, ils l'ont produit effectivement eux-mêmes, on va y revenir durant l'interview, il y a aussi un clip vidéo qui a, qui a été, ils l'ont fait totalement fun hein, dans un hôpital avec Sophie effectivement dans le lit, ils ont eu 5 heures pour préparer cette vidéo et faire la tournée, en tout cas c'était un moment incroyable, and Sophie, uh, the track, uh, loud, 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 it's a big riff, rock vocals, rock energy, and let's go Yeah, it definitely is, it's a, it's a very raw song, and we tried to capture that, just the raw rock and roll, just you know, in your face, very straight to the point, and it's just what it is. It's very loud rock with driving heavy riffs, and people seem to relate to it, which is great, because that's what we are, that's the type of music that we love, and so we're glad that it resonates with everybody else, too. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, c'est exactement ce qu'ils sont, avec euh, un titre bien brut, en tout cas, une chanson bien brute, avec euh, un peu genre in your face, enfin, un peu une patate, quoi, un punch, quoi, et puis en même temps, avec de bons, très très bons et riffs, effectivement. Hein. And I think, yeah, I'm totally agree, hein. it's a very good track, I think it's a great track for anyone looking for an 80s hard rock, atmosphere uh kevin absolutely absolutely see the thing that we noticed immediately was that on the youtube video comments uh, a lot of people were commenting how refreshing it was to hear a new band playing this kind of music because there's a lot of new bands that are trying to do it but it's not quite there and we, we want it to be as authentic as possible with the rock scene mm -hmm. and i think that it's true Effectivement, qu'ils ont eu de nombreux commentaires en hein, YouTube, hein, et puis après, effectivement, avec euh, de nombreuses vues, ils ont eu de nombreux commentaires, donc comme je le disais, et puis euh, pour un nouveau groupe, donc ils ont surpris vraiment leur monde. Hein. And um, so it's a very catchy track, it's 100% easy, US hard rock. Yeah, thank you for that. We're, we're glad that it's catchy, we're glad that it has people singing. We have a fan and a friend in Missouri, and he, he says that he wants it now, 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 whenever we... <laughs> we Whenever we play a show, he's like, play loud, loud, loud. I want it now, now, now. So clearly, <laughs> it, it is pretty catchy and it sticks in people's heads. So it sticks in our heads, too. We have just as much fun jamming to it and, you know, playing mm -hmm. it for everybody. You know, hopefully as much fun as people have, you know, listening to it and watching the new video. So. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, qu'ils ont eu du bon temps, en tout cas, que ce soit répète, que ce soit en concert, que ce soit effectivement sur la vidéo. Des gens aussi au même chambre, ils ont dit euh, now, 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 enfin maintenant, maintenant, maintenant. Eux, c'est loud, 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 archi fort en tout cas, mais en tout cas, ils ont passé du bon temps et a vraiment un super titre. And Kevin, your voice is so intense. Wow, very intense. Yeah, very intense. I think it's very fascinating when we, as, as music fans, are starting to hear people sing our music. It's just mind-blowing to us. We just can't believe that it's happening. 
and it's happening so quickly that we went on a tour with faster pussycat and to our surprise people were singing loud 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 with us when we were performing it and it was just we were so shocked Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Effectivement que c'est fantastique pour eux Ils étaient en tournée avec les Faster Pussycat Donc ils étaient en support act Et puis euh, il a été surpris car les fans chantaient effectivement ces titres hein. Donc il a été surpris Alors oui c'est un, un titre qui est assez difficile à chanter Parce que ça demande une intensité incroyable Mais il assure en tout cas hein. And Sophie, the second single The enemy is more rock and roll And uh, Kevin, you sing uh, the lyrics Something like uh, So looking back at my reflections Rebel come live You are, you are a new sensation Sophie, uh, is it the state of mind of the band? It is really. I mean, we we stick out a lot. I have to say, these are Kevin's lyrics, so they definitely relate to him a lot. And I mean, I think everybody can find a little something to relate to. Um, but they are his lyrics, and so we both agree, though, because he he tells me like when he wrote those lyrics, it's just whatever comes out, and then later he looks back and realizes, wow, that actually makes sense. Like that's that relates to me. Like that resonates with me. And so it does say a lot about the band too, because in a way we're a little rebellious. Like I said, we kind of are on the outskirts of the music scene in a way. Like we're not super interconnected with, I guess, the scene, but we're still active and doing our own thing. And, you know, even though it's a little outside the box, we're, we're glad that people are enjoying it and we're glad that it comes across authentic, which is exactly what we want. Mmh, effectivement que euh, les paroles elles sont très importantes, elles ont été écrites par Kevin hein, avec un côté effectivement rebelle de la société, alors ils aiment effectivement ce côté euh, de pouvoir dire non, ils aiment aussi partager ça avec leurs potes, ils aiment ils vivent en tout cas, ils vivent, euh, ils vivent au quotidien, ils ont ce côté rebelle and Kevin, same question for you please do you think the band at this moment is more rebel as said Sophie is it the band, the state of mind of the band Sure. So I think that as um, a newer band, it's very easy for us to feel out of place wherever we go because we're still meeting new people. We're still meeting new venues that we perform at. And so a lot of times we feel a little rebellious because we have to go up on stage and, you know, put up this front. Like we have to do our job and get in front of people and show them that attitude. And I think that's the attitude that people want to see in rock and roll, that rebelliousness, that sort of aggression and in your face attitude because that to me was what drew me into rock and roll and so the lyrics really speak to me Mm -hmm. Effectivement que les paroles sont très personnelles à Kevin hein. Il explique lui-même qu'au quotidien nous devons faire notre travail Nous devons rencontrer des gens Nous sommes un nouveau groupe, c'est notre truc enfin, en ce moment Et donc ça explique effectivement Alors Sophie partage effectivement tout à fait les paroles hein. Il y a ce côté rebelle en tout cas Et puis c'est vraiment l'ambiance au sein de ce groupe And Kevin, I'm totally surprised that Because your two singles are very mature And the band is so young You have the life ahead of you And we start very, very young <laughs> So... I think that my first introduction to rock and roll was Kiss. Wow. And it was the song Look It Up. Okay. And um, it, it was just mind-blowing for me. I started playing music when I was like 12 years old. And um, so I started writing songs very, very early on. And I was just trying to speak from an honest perspective, which is, you know, what, what, what I was listening to on the radio. Uh, what I heard from Kiss was just so mind-blowing. All the loud guitars, the loud vocals, in your face, all of that stuff. Um, And it's just me speaking from the heart, an honest place. And I'm not trying to cater to anybody when we write music. I'm, I'm trying to just feed that inner child that we have because that's where we started from. And Sophie could tell you the same thing. She started with the same kind of music. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's really just us being honest. No, I, if it's, And I think that's yes. what people relate to. Okay. I think. Ok, alors effectivement, euh, son coup de cœur de jeunesse, hein, c'est Kiss, la, le Liquid Up effectivement, alors l'album, ou même le single qui passait en radio en tout cas, et euh, c'est ce qu'il a aimé, des grosses guitares, des gros riffs en tout cas, et puis euh, tout en, euh, ce qu'il qu aime aussi tout au long de sa musique, c'est de parler avec le cœur effectivement, c'est ce qu'il a, il a ce côté rock and roll en lui, hein, c'est euh, c'est pour ça que je disais dans la question effectivement que leur musique semble très mature en termes de rock, alors pourtant qu'ils ont la vie devant eux, ils sont vraiment très jeunes. And Sophie, for you, same question, what was your ready for first single hard rock single of your life oh man i'm trying to think because it's so hard to pinpoint it like don't uh, something by rat don't, it, don't. it might have been something by, by rat um i love rat i'm a huge fan it could have been the scorpions honestly i i leaned a lot towards the 80s hard rock um when i was first growing up and i first started playing guitar i wanted to be like jakey lee like randy rhodes wow. um Teeny. I wanted to be like them. They, they were my heroes. And so it'd have to be probably like, I don't know, round and round or 
maybe even like Rocky Like a Hurricane. Those okay. songs really just okay. like, gave me a what I wanted to do with my life. Mm -hmm. Effectivement, qu'elle a démarré avec ses euh, du rat, du scorpion, Jackie Lee, Randy Ross qu'elle a cité. Elle a cité les singles de rat, le Run and Round aussi, le Rock Like a Hurricane de Scorpion. En tout cas, ouais, elle a un beau panel. Là, effectivement, hein. elle a un beau panel de d'écoute en direct dans 213 Rock, Vinyl Times, The Classic Rock Radio. Sophie and Kevin des Ratchet Dolls qui viennent présenter leur groupe ainsi que leurs deux singles présents hein, en ce moment sur YouTube, qui sont Loud, 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 ainsi que The Enemy. So, Kevin, uh, when the, the new album will be released? We're shooting, yes, for for the summer, and we don't have the exact date, but we know we want to do it in August because we we have a lot more touring coming up, and we just also released the video for the enemy. Okay. So we have to go out and really, really push these songs to make sure that it's heard everywhere because we tour so much, over a hundred dates a year, and so and that, that's what we love to do. We love playing the music for people. And that's how we know that we're doing our job. If, if we see people singing our music, that means we did our job right. Okay. So yeah, we, we definitely a lot of promoting to do. Ok, alors effectivement l'album donc sortirait donc courant août, donc pour l'instant ils n'ont pas la date exacte, par contre ce qu'ils sont sûrs c'est qu'ils ont énormément de dates, ils en ont encore une, ils en ont fait une centaine, ils en ont plein qui vont arriver, c'est un truc de dingue ce groupe, à chaque tous les jours ils reçoivent des demandes, effectivement hein, les deux titres qui sont sur Youtube sont absolument fantastiques et ce soir ils nous font un honneur d'être en direct ce soir dans 213 Rock, Vinyl Times, The Classic Rock Radio, Very First French Interview, première interview française, ça c'est vraiment cool hein, avant l'avenir, attention, et je dis attention à ce qui peut arriver pour la suite, and uh, Sophie, And Kevin, the, the new album will be called Bring the Noise? Yes, Bring the Noise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that it's a very fitting name. With the amount of noise that we make on stage and the amount of noise in the ears when they put their headphones on to listen to the music, it's just so fitting. It's very in your face, and I, I really love it. And if you notice, the, the covers of, like, the single artwork, it's kind of the same concept with the amp. Okay. And it's smoke, smoking, and you'll see how it all fits in. But it's basically getting louder and louder and louder, you know, okay. that's... It's Ok, effectivement que l'artwork hein, qui est déjà, vous, vous regardez les singles, c'est déjà disponible, hein, on y voit un ampli qui est en train de fumer, c'est-à-dire qu'autant de puissance en fait, hein, jusqu'à fond, jusqu'au risque qu'il le brûle en tout cas, c'est ça, et l'album s'intitulera donc, et sortira donc, euh, il n'a pas date exacte, mais courant août, il s'intitulera Bring the Noise, effectivement quoi. And Kevin, does your new album promise to preserve hein, the full sound of your first two singles um, So, it's actually a very versatile okay. album, um, there's So these two singles that you've heard, Loud, Loud, Loud is very much in your face and, and extremely driven. Mm -hmm. The Enemy has a little bit of a blues shuffle to it, like a very Texas blues type of thing. And then there's songs in the on the album that are uh, very traditional to, to traditional heavy metal, uh, very much like Judas Priest, like Saxon, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a very versatile album, but... I think there's a little bit for everybody on it and I think everyone's gonna love it. I'm really looking forward to hearing what people have to say. Mm -hmm. Alors effectivement que le nouvel album sera assez versatile effectivement, il y aura du blues, il y aura du heavy metal aussi hein, dans l'esprit du Das Priest saxon. Non non, il y en aura pour tout le monde en tout cas, mais j'espère en tout cas qu'il y aura de très très gros disques. And Kevin the new album was entirely self-produced in your home studio. That is correct. Yeah, I learned how to produce when I was a little little kid using Guitar Hero microphones. Mm -hmm. It's so it, it, it's it's what I had. We didn't have a lot of money, but I had the Guitar Hero microphones from a friend. Okay. And um, it was an old video game, right? But, but yeah, that's how we produced it. And now we use professional equipment, right? But that's how I first got started yeah yeah ok effectivement hein, ils l'ont fait avec un professeur avec un matériel approximatif en tout cas mais ils ont fait un très très gros disque exactly kevin and sophie it's exactly the same system uh, for appetite for destruction of uh, of guns and roses they don't have any professional material but they did amazing album Oh yeah, I I love Appetite for Destruction. I think that album changed the world. Yes, that's right. Exactly. With poor money, you can do a better album. You can you can do maybe the best album for rock and roll with a poor budget. Do you believe that? I do. I do believe that because um, when you start working with producers and engineers and every, there's too many fingerprints on on your product. Okay. And when you're when you're being honest with yourself and you're working on it and it's your own blood, sweat, and tears and you're producing it all on your own, you have the opportunity to be extremely creative as possible, mm -hmm. and you're not on the clock. You're, you're not, nobody's telling you, hey, no, that doesn't sound good. You're being honest, and that's what we're about. Effectivement. And I, I'd like to add uh, one yes? more thing. I also, for people, you guys may not know this, people listening, but Kevin is actually deaf in one ear. 
and he produced this album with one ear, one good ear. And so I like to say how proud I am of him and how extremely talented he is for being able to pull that off. And I just want to give somebody, some people, some perspective on just how hard he worked and how good he is at what he does, especially having one good ear. So that's just a little fact about him. Alors, effectivement, là, il y a une information quand même qui est de taille. Alors, Kevin disait donc tout simplement qu'il a effectivement il a enregistré cet album et qu'il voulait pas avoir des personnes euh, autres. Il voulait avoir juste l'avis du groupe autour de lui et faire ça ensemble, en famille. Comme ça, il y a personne pour dire « Ouais, tu fais ci, tu fais ça, tu fais ça, tu fais ça » et à la fin, tu rien d'authentique. Alors oui, j'ai pris effectivement l'exemple de l'album euh, « Appetite for Destruction » de Guns N' Roses parce que Guns, à l'époque, l'avait fait avec pas grand budget. quoi. Hein, et même que les, les, il paraîtrait, je, je pense que c'est vrai, cette histoire que les guitares de Slash, c'était c'était pas des vrais les pose, c'était des copies, mais en tout cas euh, ça sonne, ça a fait lycée, et Kevin me dit ouais c'est c'est l'album qui a retourné le monde quoi en fait, hein, de rock and roll parce qu'il était vrai, il était 100% naturel, et Sophie me dit aussi que Kevin effectivement a une, une part d'audition sur une, une seule oreille, et donc il a travaillé avec une oreille, et il a fait un disque incroyable quoi, et euh, c'est vraiment, il a vraiment beaucoup de talent ce Kevin en tout cas, et euh, Sophie précise euh, aussi que euh, bah, c'est du pur rock and roll and Sophie um, and the band written and recorded an authentic hard rock album do you agree Sophie Yes, absolutely. I think that people are going to be even more surprised when they see all the other songs because, like Kevin mentioned, um, it's it's very diverse. There's a little something for everybody. Of course, it's all in that same um, realm of hard rock, but if you're a fan of, say, I don't know, Judas Priest, and then you're a fan of ACDC, there's, there's something for the traditional heavy metal fans and, you know, the more uh, blues-type fans, blues hard rock, and so... It's very authentic, it's very in your face, it's just very much a mixture of all the bands that we love and grew up listening to and So that's really gonna translate. Mm -hmm, effectivement, que c'est une mixture des groupes qu'ils aiment. C'est aussi divers, en tout cas, mais ils ont mis tout leur âme. Ils ont, et c'est authentique. Hein, c'est du vrai hard rock. C'est naturel. C'est un vrai son très naturel. Et ils sont eux-mêmes. C'est ça qui est important. Hein. And uh, Kevin, I guess you you really can wait for the hard rock fans to hear the new album. Oh yeah, I, I, I can't wait. I, I can't wait for just like Sophie said. There's a little bit for everyone on this album, and I, I can't imagine what it's going to be like when people finally hear it and we go out on tour and we see people people's responses in person when we start hearing people tell us hey that was really good or even if they tell us hey i don't know if i liked it so much i i can't wait to hear it because okay. that's what's going to make us Effectivement, que ils attendent, ils sont totalement impatients hein, que les gens écoutent ce disque et qu'ils leur donnent leur point de vue. Ça, ils attendent avec impatience. And Sophie, just before the end, the band is now totally excited because uh, I think the band um, feel that something is going up seriously. Yeah, of course, we're all, we're all extremely excited for the future. Like mm. we have so much hope for what's to come for this band. Like we hope to open so many doors. Like with everybody that's going to enjoy this album and enjoy the the two videos we've put out so far. We hope to tour across the globe. And, you know, we hope that that is something we can, you know, br bring to fruition very soon. And yeah, so we're all very excited. We're very hopeful for people's responses, like Kevin said, and. We just have a lot of ambition and drive for everything we want to do with this band. Effectivement que donc ces deux titres, ces deux singles euh, leur ouvrent des portes, ils sont confiants pour l'avenir en tout cas, malgré vraiment leur jeunesse hein, ils ont vraiment l'avenir devant eux. C'est un groupe incroyable donc je rappelle le nom du groupe, c'est Ratchet Dolls, première interview française ce soir dans 213 Rock by No Times the Classic Rock Radio. Sophie guitariste ainsi que Kevin et guitariste et vocal et euh, donc furent en direct dans 213 Rock by No Times the Classic Rock Radio. Sophie, please just before the end, do you have a message for the audience tonight? please absolutely um i want to say thank you for having us this is i don't know about kevin um i've been in the band a short time compared to him obviously but um i've never done a, an interview from someone in france or even anywhere else so i i'd like to thank you for having us this is super cool you know that people across the globe are so interested in what we're doing in our music and so thank you and i want to say thank you to the people listening and For enjoying the video and watching it, we appreciate all of you, and we hope to see you very soon at a show. Okay, merci beaucoup, Sophie. Thank you very much, Sophie. Kevin, your message, please. Just like touching on touching on what Sophie said, thank you very much for having us here on Two Thirteen Rock. It's it, it's it's such an honor to know that the music is actually being heard and it's reaching places we never imagined, and we're very excited for the future. Uh, it's it's a little early to talk about, but we're already working on album number three, and this one hasn't even been, you know, released yet. So there's a lot of plans for this band. We've gotten a lot of offers, and 
we ha- we we owe it all to every single one of you listening because it's because of you guys that we do it in the first place. Thank you very much. Okay, 213 Rock Vinyl Times the Classic Rock Radio terminant cette interview avec les Ratchet Dolls Sophie et Kevin en direct tonight tout de suite le single The Enemy. Il y a un clip disponible sur YouTube Vinyl Times the Classic Rock Radio. Oh yeah, 213 Rock. <musique> 